If you shop around at your local food market, you may have heard of GMOs. You wanted to know more about them. TV6's Nick Brennan is here now to tell us what they are and how they might affect your health for your Facebook Friday Story of the Week. Nick? Sophie, it's not difficult to find out what GMOs are, but I found today it's not so easy to understand what they can do to food and our environment. Chances are if you follow the food industry or if you're just trying to eat healthier, you've heard the term GMO tossed around. So what are GMOs? GMOs are genetically modified organisms. And really it is taking genetic material from one species and putting it into the genetic material of another species. Essentially, it's genetic engineering to theoretically produce superior crops with better yield to make better food products, particularly artificial corn, soy, cotton, and canola products. But there's been controversy over possible negative environmental effects the GMOs have on non-GMO crops. But what happens is if there's a field of something that's G GMO and it's planted next to a field um, of something that's organic, there can be cross-pollination, which then, in essence, negates the organic certification on the one crop. There are also concerns that consuming GMO crops can produce harmful effects on human health, but an NMU biology professor says that most of Michigan's corn and soy are GMO crops, and there is currently no cause for alarm. It's I think 91 to 93 percent at this point and a lot of that obviously is going towards animal feed or oil or fuel sources in the course of corn some of that goes into ethanol but humans are consuming quite a bit of it at this point um, and so we haven't seen any negative health implications. Both women agree that the research on GMOs is far from complete and that it's important for consumers to educate themselves about GMO products before making their choices for or against them in the supermarket. To find out more about GMOs visit our website of michigansource.com. Lance says that oftentimes GMO food products are not distinguished from non-GMO products, so if you don't see a certified organic or non-GMO symbol on the packaging, it most likely contains GMOs. That can make it even more confusing because if it's just not there, it's almost safe to assume that it is there. Well, your health is worth a closer look. Definitely. Thanks, Nick.